Next book I'm going to do is you read this. You last you got me out this. We're going to do Absolute Power. I did uh, this, num- yeah. number three. I didn't know the series. I didn't know that this is almost over. I thought it was going to go yeah. a little bit longer than that. Yeah, this they, they, yeah. they got in and out with this shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess you should have just read the tie-ins, huh? <laughs> I guess I should have. I didn't know it was going to be over with that quick. But yeah, so we're here, and you got Batman kind of like doing the Wolverine Hulk thing where you can see he's got Batarangs, but they got all the bad guys in there and shit. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah. All right, so we're going to jump into it. I they haven't been following the tie-ins, but we're going to jump into it and do it the best way we can. So we jump into it. Hawk Girl, even though she lost her power, still got her wings. Like, why don't you just fly out of there? I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, Phil say basically Banner Wallace putting the plan together. So you're like, okay, activate phase two. You go do your thing. Take Brina Queen with you because my baby is hungry. And when she talk about her baby, she's talking about Brina Queen because Brina Queen thinks that Amanda Wall is a mother. So yeah, she even calls her mother the whole time. So basically, the last issue, this Force of Tomb got destroyed. The heroes that didn't get captured got out of there. And where they go to, they went to the mascara. That's where they showed up. And you got Queen Nubia bringing them in. Now, for those that haven't been keeping up with Wonder Woman comics, and I don't blame you because, the, but the whole point is, Nubia is now queen of the Amazons. Uh, Hippolyta, I think, got killed or died or some shit like that. And she basically put Nubia in her place before on her deathbed. So she runs the Amazons now. Zilla is asking Mr. Terrific, why did you put us here? Like, the reason I put you here is because John Kent is looking for us and anyone on the planet, he will find us except here because this place is still protected by magic. So there's no way he can find us. So, yeah. So it's like the best place for us to be right now. And Flash throws some kryptonite before they got out of the uh, Fort Sato. He stole some kryptonite. And Big Barter says, give me the kryptonite. And that's when her and Nightwing get into it. Like Nightwing said, no, you're not going to do that. She was like, no, I'm going to do that because I can see the eyes. That guy's going to kill us. And I was trained by Dark Side because Dark Side is. So that motherfucker shows up. I'm going to shoot his ass. Like, no, you're not going to do that. He's one of us. Like, okay. Any blood on his hands, that's on your conscience. So she's like, fine, I'll deal with it. So then Nightwing hands out some more assignments, basically saying Superman's doing this, Satana's doing that, Batman's doing this, Wonder Woman and Damien's doing that. They all doing that shit in their solo books and the tie and shit like that. And you say, but we're going to launch a counter strike against Waller. And then like the weaker bullshit heroes, just like, how the fuck we going to kind of hit that? I don't even know how to throw a punch. Like my whole thing is my powers. And that's when Hal Jordan shows up with no shirt on. Why does Hal Jordan have a shirt on? <laughs> Because he's on an island of Amazons. <laughs> he got to show them what they're missing out on. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so he's got a whole bunch of An island of Wonder Women? A while of Wonder Shit. Women. Like, 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 Hold on. Let me, let me change. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the average man? Well, I'm a, above average. <laughs> That's Steve Trevor shit. But anyway, he's showing off the uh, weapons that they stole from Just League things. So he's got like, uh, uh, like Captain Cole's gun some other shit you know basically a whole bunch of shit they stole and basically night we had a more assignments y'all gotta go find a guy named john star he he has some information you gotta go find him and like he's on some kind of a uh, battleship you gotta go get him out of there so they do that uh big but i don't love it when did they start drawing big barter like that a while ago a while ago i must have missed <laughs> out on it because they used to just draw big barter like a one woman clone now that she's big she's big barter so yeah, yeah she's yeah they're drawn all no she's been drawn hot for a while <laughs> okay <laughs> it's so huge and shit so yeah so basically saying that's the assignment everybody go out there and then they go to china so the thing is they ramped up and i was wondering about this last time but they ramped it up and basically waller is gone past the united states and she's now getting superheroes from other countries even if the the folks don't have a problem with like the china like they regulate their superheroes like they're part of the chinese government and waller came in and took them too they were like oh no, we're gonna go to war with the united states but how are we gonna do that and then fail state jumps in like you're not the united states no longer has authority over wallace she does whatever the hell she wants to and now you're looking at your commander in chief and then one of the chinese guys go batman and especially said no better <laughs> yeah i like that shit right there and he was just like look y'all should be happy with us we're getting rid of all better humans superheroes super villains getting rid of them you should thank us matter of fact i want a written letter of apology from you thanking us because if you don't Brainiac Queen is hacking into everything you got right there. She's going to take information and leak it everywhere to the Russians, to Japan, the people you don't want to know what the fuck you got going on. So, yeah. And then just leaves. So, and then Waller's complaining about that there's a problem with Task Force, Amazing Robots, and then you got Failsafe with this cool-ass shot right here. Eli, can he be my Batman? <laughs> That's because he just <laughs> fly past this shit. And he basically said that because they absorb their powers, but they also like absorb their morality and you know it's like that so they're kind of freaking out like that so what fail safe does and even though I, another flat i think that's wally i think that's wally not, not buried he's being chased down one of the super speeds through amazos 
And that's when Failsafe like does the reboot thing. And it does just enough where it slows down the super speed fast where Wada can get away from him. You're like, damn, I don't know what happened, but I lost his ass. So, and that's when he gets this word from this guy saying, you need to go to Wallace prison. I'm going to tell you exactly where it's at. She's got something hidden under there. You need to find out where it's at. We don't know who he's talking to. We will find out, I guess, next issue. And Wallace just takes off. So they get there and they find Bizarro is protecting that John Star dude. And like, how do you fight a crazy ass Superman? And Aquaman is like, don't worry, I got something to take out Bizarro. And next thing you see, Bizarro breaks Wonder Girl's neck, puts his hand through Aquaman. You're like, what the fuck going on? He just killed everybody. And that's when we find out, bam, he got hit with the Black Mercy. Now that is a deep fucking cut right there. That is some old school pre-crisis Alan Moore shit right there. He hit him with. People that haven't read that story is from the man who knows everything. You know the bland. The man oh, who I has think, okay. That thing, the Black Mercy. Yeah, well, Mongo did his shit to Superman. That story. So that's what he hit him with. So, yeah. So they go in there, and then Red Tornado is wearing Aztec's helmet. I always wonder what the fuck happened to Aztec. He was like this 90s dude with like that. Apparently, they killed him. I don't remember when they did that, but okay, whatever. Uh, and that's the guy John started looking for, I guess, the Time Commander or some bullshit. Whatever the fuck they're going on. That's the guy they're looking for. So, yeah. So Black Alice, who's like one of the only magic users left because she's working for, for Amanda Waller, she does comes in and does shit. That's when Aztec helmet like goes immediately invisible. She can't find him. And then who smacks in the head? Yeah, Wonder Girl smacks in the head. So yeah, she's out. And that's when uh Bloodshot or Death Moon or whoever the fuck is just elbow played in the suicide the good suicide squad movie. Him. I can't remember his name. That's him. Shoots at uh no, not Aztec, Red Tornado in the helmet, in the head. So does two things: take out the helmet and takes out Red Tornado. So yeah. So they're down. They know and Red Tornado is a robot, so he'll be fine. Uh, they get the fuck up out of there. And while they're doing all this shit, Amanda Waller wasn't expecting new metahumans to like pop up out of nowhere. She wasn't planning on that. So that's when they take Red Tornado back. They work on stuff like that. And but the thing is, that's when Brainiac Queen sneaks through their technology. How does she sneak through there? Because when they put Red Tornado on that ship, she hacked into Red Tornado. So when they took it back to the mascara, that was her way in. She's like, "We found a way in." mother it's like we who is we and that's when boom john is there like cyborg superman superman son john he's there so you got brainiac queen and john just fucking everybody up they just going to work on their ass shit and that's when big bar like fuck this shit i'm gonna take out superboy raven's just like no you can't do that nightwing told not to do that fuck nightwing and fuck batman's brat i'm about to shoot this motherfucker right now because dark side is so she got the beam on him right now about to take his ass out before she can do the shit, bam, Nightwing hits him with the baton or his scrim or whatever you call it. He'll like, first, I told you not to do this shit because I'm in charge. Two, I have a plan. Me and Mr. Rick fix some shit out. So he goes to John and tell him, John, fight me one-on-one. Meet me on my level. And instead of John just heat vision him right off the bat, he decides to touch the ground. So he touch the ground, boom, he gets hit by Themyscira's magic because no man can touch the ground without Nubia, without the queen's permission. So since he don't have her permission, all that magic hits him in one time and expunges all that shit that Brainiac Queen did to him. So yeah, so he's fighting back to normal and that's when Brainiac Queen like, doesn't matter, you still got me. So while you're still dealing with Brainiac Queen, John grabs her, tells her, no, everything Walla told you was a lie and somehow he floods her with the real memories and it like fucks her mind up. So she don't know what the hell going on because Walla told the one thing, meanwhile her, her date is conflicting with other thing else, so she's freaking out. And Batman shows like, hey, y'all, I'm back. Because he got a mother by. He like, oh, damn, y'all getting fucked up down there. So, oh, uh, and Wallace is like, what the fuck did you do? And so Waller overrides control and she takes over the Brainiac Queen. She like, she's going to kill John right here. And then before you do that, Batman takes the mother box and teleports Brainiac Queen to Pluto. So she's out of there. Done. That's it. So, yeah. Superman shows up, sees John. They hug each other. Warm thing. Braces, stuff like that. Yeah. All this stuff like that. All right. So everybody like, damn, this place got fucked up. That was cool for Batman. Wait a minute, where's Batman? Because Batman found that dude, John Star. He like, I know what you can do, John Star. You can get the powers back. So Batman's gonna fuck this dude up till he get the powers back. I guess it'll be the next issue. <laughs> Meanwhile, Flash goes to that place where that dude told him to go to. He finds that, I guess that multiverse machine where you can go to and play. And then he finds that weird ass map grant morrison made for the for the new 52 or the 52 or whatever the fuck that was like he finds that shit he was like what is she doing oh no amanda wall is building a multiversal army and then you see like a bunch of god speeds behind him i guess i, I don't know fucking speedsters or shit. i don't know just some shit 
Then, uh, next issue, the final battle. So yeah, so this was just ramping up, putting all the pieces together to where they need to be next issue. That's basically what pretty, this is. So, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It, so yeah, wrapping up. It, it, it felt like they flying through this shit. I thought it like this yeah, this on, like, yeah. yeah, this feels like they're just like cramming everything. Yeah, they just flying through. Like this is issue three. Yeah, like this is only three already. So yeah, they, let's, let's get this shit over with. So yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but overall, uh, three point five out of five. It's cool because they just flying through it. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot happening. Yeah, like you said, just putting everybody in there, putting all the pieces in the place for the final battle, and yeah, get the shit over with, move on. To the next <laughs> so like, damn, damn, DC. Okay, a lot going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 